Hi everyone, Chris here again from 2vaped.com and today I'm going to address three issues that a lot of people seem to have with the KFUN 3.1 rebuildable atomizer. Today I will be using the clone that we sell at 2vaped. You can find a link to that in the description below. And the three issues we're going to talk about is the tank gurgling, which is caused usually by too much cotton in the wick setup, uh, leaking, which is caused by not having a good vacuum when you fill the tank, and some concerns with the KFUN not being able to run sub ohm coils very well. Uh, that goes back to the wick as well. If you don't have a wick that gets the juice up to the coil fast enough, you might get some dry hits. So let's go ahead and get up close. I'm going to show you guys how I build a wick. I think it's the best option so far, and I've tried quite a few. It's going to make sure you get good hits every time. It never runs dry, and then at the end, we'll fill it up so it's not going to leak. Okay, let's get up close and have some fun. Okay, let's go ahead and get our wick in here. Now, this is a 0.59 ohm coil. It's, uh, let's see, six wraps of 26 gauge canthal around a 564 inch bit. Just got done dry burning and cleaning it, like I said. And if you take a look there, we have some good clearance over the air hole. Now, a lot of people don't like to run the cave on this lower. They say they can't because it gets a lot of dry hits or it gets too hot. Uh, I promise that this wick setup will not have that issue. So we'll go ahead and get a little bit of cotton off here. We're just going to use a very little bit, way less than you're probably used to. Pull it out nice and fine. Let's go with about there. Going to just get one end twisted up a little bit. Roll it nice and snug. Now what you want to do with rolling the cotton is to roll it, not twist it. Just make sure it has some springiness left in there. So there you go. That's about what we're looking for. Uh, just get one end pulled off, twist it up so it'll go through nicely. All right, let's see if we can make this work. Mm -hmm. Now just kind of feed it through. We don't need very much here. We're going to trim most of it off. There you go. And what we're going to use as our guide to trim the cotton is actually the base of the deck. Now, a lot of times you'll see people who build these wicks, they try to twist them and cram it all in there like that. We're not going to do anything. We're going to go with a very small amount of cotton, just enough to get the juice up there. So take the scissors, and I like to just go right up to the edge of the deck, a little bit beyond it maybe. A snip. Repeat on the other side. And I can hear you already saying, that's not enough cotton, it's not going to work. Don't worry. It's actually a little more than we like, so let's go ahead and take a little more off this side. The goal here is when it's juiced up to just have the cotton barely spread out on the deck. Just enough so that when it comes up the juice channels, it feeds it into the wick and you get nice tasty hits. Uh, make sure the cotton's even on both sides. Okay, the juice I'm going to use is some Mewlin's Magic Blend from Velvet Cloud. Very tasty stuff, 100% uh, VG, so it makes good clouds too. Let's go ahead and we're going to just prime up the wick a little bit. Just a couple of drops on top, maybe one, one on each side, just so it stays in place when we put the chimney back together. Alright, now we're going to take the tweezers and just try to spread the wick out nice and even across the base. Come over to this side and do the same. You see the way it works is the juice comes up the channel, hits the deck, it's going to catch right into the wick and go right to the coil. So that's looking good, make sure there's no wick hanging into the threads. Okay, take the chimney, put that on first. And now we're going to go ahead and just test it out, make sure everything's looking okay. Let me just grab my mod and a fresh battery real quick. Today I'm going to be using this on the Chi Yu clone, which we have on the site. It's my favorite mod at the moment. That's pretty much all I've been using. Go ahead and get that on there nice and snug. 
make sure everything's together all right so there we go put a few drops in the chimney just to get all the wick nice and good now you know you put too much in if it starts coming out the channels I think we'll be okay and let's see how it does unlock all right that'll do oh that smells delicious okay I'm gonna go put it back together we'll go back out I'll show you guys how to fill it to make sure you're not getting any leaks and we'll have a good time and welcome back now we are going to go ahead and fill up the K fun like I said the two main issues that people have with the K fun are gurgling and leaking Gurgling is caused by too much wick, which we just took care of. And now we're going to take care of the leaking concerns by filling it properly and making sure there's a good vacuum. First thing you want to do here, put the top of the chimney on. And then we'll do the tank as well. All right. Now that that's all together... Go ahead and just fill it up with your juice of choice. Mm -hmm. You can make it as full as you want. Go almost to the top. And now, this is where it gets fun. Before you put the cap on, find the two air holes. Not the fill hole, the air holes. Just hold your finger over them to make sure no air gets out. Put the cap on, give it two or three turns until it starts to get pretty tight so you know no juice is going to come out. Keep your finger over those holes, flip it over and watch that air bubble work its way to the top. Okay, now you see it's not leaking, no worries. Finger still over the holes, turn it up a little bit. And now just let your finger off once you feel the, the seal start to go and finish tightening it. All the way. Okay, and that's all there is to it. Now, this should not leak. Uh, if something went wrong and you got a little bit of juice into the chamber, all you need to do is blow into the air hole. Make sure you have a paper towel. Let's see if there's any in there. Okay, just a little bit came out. No big deal. Let's do... Dab it up clean. Isn't that wonderful to watch? Okay. That's it, though. Now there's no more juice in there. It's not going to leak. All set. No dry hits, no leaks. That's a perfect build and fill now. Uh, let's put it on the mod and see. Okay. And there you have it. Delicious hits. It's never going to give you a dry hit. Uh, enjoy your K fun, guys. If you don't have one yet, stop by Two Vaped and pick one up. Use the code YouTube for 10% off anything over there. And if you have any questions, just leave a comment down below or send me an email at support at Two Vape. Stop by our Facebook. You know, there's many ways to get in touch. And we will make sure your K fun is going well for you, too. Thanks, everyone. And vape on.